Oh, that took me a minute to get it on the right settings. I don't even know if it's still on the right settings. I am going to Taco Bell. Hello. I forgot to say hello. I'm going to Taco Bell and we're going to eat together. And I'm very excited about it. We're driving slow so my camera doesn't fall. I haven't got my car back for anyone that cares. Um, not that I want it back. It's a piece of poo poo. I don't really have much to say about that. Well, I do have a lot to say about it, but I'm not going to. I was watching Emma Chamberlain this morning and I was thinking, hmm, maybe I'll do a taste test video. But I thought I'd do a mukbang instead and then see if you guys actually want that. Because, like, I feel like it'd be so fun to, like, go to different restaurants and, like, get different, like, chips or, like, different, like, nuggets or, like, different burgers and then compare and, like, rate them all. But also, I don't know if that's just not what you want to see from me. So, I thought I would ask. If you don't want it, I'll just seriously not do it. <laughs> or maybe I'd do it anyway. No, I wouldn't. I mean, maybe I would. I don't know. Yeah, I'm also thinking of uploading twice a week now what do we think about that because I kind of wonder because I feel like I could vlog a day in the life and then another video could be like a more chatty or like a more like fun sort of video like just a bit different like not like just a vlog because like I do love my vlogs but I feel like my vlogs lately have no point to them and I kind of want them to have like a point I'm just sort of reassessing my YouTube plan at the moment yeah just be just tell me what you guys want to see and I will try my best to give you what you want let's go to taco bell i have only eaten at taco bell maybe twice i don't know if it's different in the states versus australia i didn't actually have it while i was over there um but let's i'll see you when i'm at starbucks i'll see you when i'm at taco bell we are driving in now i'm winging this because i never order taco bell so like i literally don't even know what's on their menu obviously tacos whoa crunch oh that could be good crunch wrap box i think i might get that because there's quite a lot in it i love to make a piece today hi can i please get a crunch wrap box uh which one sorry um the crunch wrap box of course there's a crunch wrap box in a regular or a large one um, regular please. No worries, so the contract box be regular. Yeah. That's all good. And then just uh, Pepsi for your drink? Um, did you have Pepsi Max? Yeah, I can do Pepsi Max for you. Yep, just that one please. No worries. Alright, yep, all good. That's all good. Just try through, thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks, you too. Gosh, I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna park and film this. I mean, yeah, I kind of have to. I'm a bit scared because I don't like filming when there's people around but I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it do it do it now lick it good like you should right now like you should my neck my back lick my and my okay I'm gonna go here fun exciting fun exciting I'm actually reading the responses now and honestly the first one I seen this morning was Taco Bell so I just went with that but someone said Betty's and now I'm like oh my god yum yum one of the questions is if I could live anywhere else in Australia where would I live and if I could live one other place guys these chips look <sighs> These chips look elite. Like I live. Sorry, I'm just taking pics of this food because I'm like, this actually looks so good. If one other place, it would probably be the Gold Coast. Oh, guys, look at these chips. That seasoning looks really good. I love seasoning on chips, and I don't know what dip this is, but I'm excited. Mmm. Yum. I actually love these chips. Yeah, it would probably be the Gold Coast because, like, one, my family live in Queensland, not in the Gold Coast, but 
I'd be closer to them. I lived in Brisbane once, like a few years ago, just for like um, one of the lockdowns. Um, I didn't really like it. Brisbane just isn't for me, but I love going to visit. My brother's there now, so I love visiting him. But Brisbane just is not it for me. Like, at all. But I have a lot of friends that love Brisbane. Mmm. Okay, I am just, like, obsessed with these chips. Someone just told me to eat in my house. Sorry, guys, I'm in my car. Oh, my God, I love these questions. Someone said, tips on how to stay motivated and feel confident on your off days. Someone, one of my friends actually asked me this the other day. Um, and honestly, I don't have, oh my God, the answer for you. Yum, 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 yum. These yummy, yummy, tum, tum tacos. Mmm. Really homemade. Yum. With motivation, you just can't rely on motivation for everything because motivation is not always going to be there. You need to stay dedicated and working through the times when you're not motivated is like the most important part because you really have to try. And I think come like if I think that's where some people fall off the bandwagon because maybe they're doing something they don't actually want to do and that's how it's really hard to stay motivated through doing something you don't really want to do, if that makes sense. In terms of confidence, um, I am not confident. Well, sometimes I am, but I act confident. I wouldn't say I am confident all the time. I, I think it comes and goes in waves of like when I feel confident and when I don't. At the moment, my confidence is like not very good. But I, I honestly... Wow, the stutter. I honestly fake it until people people literally just think I'm confident because I because I um, fake it. Someone just parked next to me. That's really fun and awesome for me. Okay, I literally when people stare, like seriously, just don't stare. Like, don't. Anyway, I'm not gonna let them bother me. Um, so this is a crunch wrap. I'm excited to try that because I've never had a crunch wrap before. Yeah, I, I think confidence is something like you learn over time but also hold on Alicia's calling oh saying what really oh my god yay oh my god yay okay I gotta, I gotta go okay bye oh my god our, our dining table is coming today I'm so excited the dining table is literally so cute I'm not excited for the boxes because those boxes piss me off anyway that is so exciting in regards to being confident I think being confident isn't about what you look like if you are confident you are stunning and beautiful if you can be confident in your own skin you are seriously winning like i acted a lot of the time which is why i think i get a lot of questions like how do you stay so confident blah blah i'm like girl if only you knew but if only you've seen my breakdowns like they're freaking horrible look at it wow this isn't really what i was expecting Okay, there's two people just parked next to me, like, sitting in their cars. I'm so confused. It's like we're all just sitting here. But no one's eating except me. But, yeah, confidence definitely is something I feel like you find within yourself as life goes on. Like, if you... Eight years old, I had zero confidence. Like, I wouldn't say I'm 100% now, but I'm a lot better than I was. Like... I don't know, it goes through waves for sure. Like, you can ask me this one day and I can say I have zero confidence. I don't even know how to act confident. But then you can ask me another day and I will. So it's like, it's. I think it's a journey. Like, I don't think, I don't know. But in saying that, some people are just like confident forever and have always have been and envy those people because I think that's really cool. Oh my God, I love this one. Advice on struggling with feeling lost at the age of 20 and not stressing about life too much. I'm 22 and I have been stressing about my life lately because I do have goals and plans and things that I want to do. I don't know. I am confident that I will reach all my goals, but obviously there's uncertainty and like I 
have an idea of what I want to do with my life at the moment, but I don't know for sure. Like, I think we change and then our goals change and then what we want to do in life changes. And so just know that, like, you're so young. And even if you weren't young, you know, there's still time to do whatever you want to do. I think trial and error is, like, the best way to find out what you want to do. Um, I'm stressed in regards to going to uni. Going to uni can be such a waste if you don't actually want to do the thing you're going for. Like, um, I don't know. I think there's an expectation to go to uni. Everyone's like, are you studying? I'm like, no. Like, so many people ask, like, what I'm studying. I'm like, babe, nothing. And it's just because there's nothing at uni that, like, I really want to do there at the moment. Like, if there comes a time where there's something that I think will be beneficial, then I'm going to do it. Also, you don't need to do, you don't need to study for a lot of things. Even if you want to start a business, like you obviously don't need to study. Like, yeah, there's a hundred percent things that would help you, but other ways to learn. I'm not saying that you shouldn't go to uni and then like, and study business or like study whatever, because yeah, it would be beneficial. But at the same time, you can learn it other ways. You do just want to try it and you think you like something at uni, go for it like try it you don't have to finish the course but if you try it and you like it and you can finish it even though we're not even like talking about uni right now but i've just made it about you mm. i actually really enjoy those chips i am struggling with that at, at the moment feeling like uh, just feeling like i'm not really doing much with my life as you know i have achieved a lot i think i just I'm kind of like you know what's next like I think there's just more than what I'm doing like I am feeling a bit stuck but honestly everyone feels stuck like there's probably doctors lawyers out there that sit there and think you know what I don't know what I'm doing so try not to dwell on it too much let yourself feel and maybe think hmm why am I feeling this way oh maybe it's because I feel like I don't have a passion right now maybe it's because I feel like I don't have a purpose and then I think it's kind of good to feel these things because if you didn't you wouldn't do anything about it like yeah you might not do anything for a while about it but there comes a time where I feel like you end up being like okay enough is enough like what am I gonna do or I think the feelings are good in a way someone said future baby names but I literally can't give that out someone just parked next to me I love that for me looking at these things and it's I should eat at Taco Bell well babe I am freaking phone um I don't really want to look next to me because I am feeling eyes on me act confident and no one will question you that's what you just have to do I am getting actually full. Um, how did you overcome issues with food and your body? I feel like I'm about to go on a rampage because whenever someone speaks about this issue, I talk a lot about it because I am passionate about it. I don't have a straight answer on how because honestly, if you told me like three years ago when I was having the thoughts about my body and having thoughts about eating and stuff like that um i would not believe that i would be in such a comfortable place as i am now i am not at all restrictive with my food now i i wouldn't say i look i have body image issues i don't know how to explain it there's things that i want to change about my body but the way i used to look at my body and i used to think like I used to think i was a really big girl and I was so small I don't have that vision anymore like I think I can see my body for what it is now um, whereas I don't think I have body dysmorphia it's hard to say because like how do you know if you have body dysmorphia or not but I used to have horrible body dysmorphia um, I used to think I was massive I remember <clears throat> I didn't want to post this certain photo because I felt chunky in it. I look back at that photo and I'm literally like, I look so malnourished. I look so thin and I can't believe my brain tricked me into thinking that I was big. Like, and I remember complaining to like the people close to me, like saying like, you know, I'm, I'm massive. I, I feel like I'm out of control. I'm putting on all this weight. I'm not going to say the amount, but... I was such a low weight I don't even know where this came from or it was just crazy and like I know I know some of my friends are going through this right now and like I wish I could just shake them and be like oh like no like that's not how you look like you look amazing 
and I wish I could just give them the position I'm in now in regards to eating and body image because you know there's these amazing girls that they're thinking and not that even if they were big that it would be an issue but it's just that they're thinking they're a certain size when they're not and they're trying to restrict to not be that size but they're not even that size so yeah that that's just i feel horrible because there's so many girls and like i know the feeling like i know the feeling of feeling so you know not free around food i know the feeling of you know weighing myself for every morning and you know just constantly analyzing my body like i literally don't even really look at my body anymore like i remember i would walk into a room like a room with a mirror and pull up my shirt to see what my belly would look like if there was a mirror i was pulling up my top and my pulling down my pants to look how big my my legs were i was measuring my belly i was measuring my thighs so sad because the i was around 16 17 18 when this was all happening and like that's just so young like i was such a baby and i cared so much about the way i looked and i still do but i think it's in a different way like i'm not as i don't care as much about my body not that i don't care about my body like i still dislike things and i still wish i had different things or whatever but there's that and then there's like a whole different side of just like you know restriction and and burning yourself to the ground going to the gym going for runs like yeah it's just it's not like that anymore with my body i think this is weird but i think it's actually worse now with like my face no that is gonna be like confusing to someone but i feel like i look at my appearance like just like my face and my body a little bit but like not really as just not the way i used to i overanalyze my face a lot now and i think i overcame it with my body and now i've moved on to my face i i think maybe that's why i don't really know exactly but that's just kind of what i've gathered honestly my self-love is getting better i feel like a few months ago it was at its lowest point and i am not sure i'm quite past it but just these past few weeks have been really busy so i haven't really had a moment to really like sit there and be like oh my god i hate the way i look i don't know i go through weird like phases of just like really going downhill with it and i don't really know i don't know i think eventually i will see someone just because i think it's not normal to be so negative in regards to the way I look like I don't know it's a really weird thing to explain to someone and it kind of if someone explained this to me when I had no idea I probably would not really think I'd be like yeah whatever like you don't like the way you look cool or like I just wouldn't think but when you're going through it it's like oh right like it's just so much worse than you could have thought I don't know it's really weird hair care routine I'll show you guys the shampoo that I've been recently using. I don't even use conditioner, I just use shampoo. I just straighten my hair. I normally use a GHD or a um, Cloud9. They're both really, really good. I just straighten it, like just, you know, unless I use the Dyson. That's literally all I do. I don't really care for my hair too much. I have been using, there was this, um, there's this leave-in mask that I use sometimes and it, you just put it on the ends of your hair. It's from the brand Canamo, C-A-N-A-M-O. It's in a little green thing. You like rub it on your hands and you just put it in the ends and that makes my hair so shiny. Like if you look in the light, it's like, I haven't used it this time, but like my hair goes just so shiny when I use that. Apart from that, seriously, just chilling. I am not going out this weekend that I know of. Who knows? If one of my friends is like, let's go out, I'll probably be like, fine. Also, randomly, I've been thinking about getting a boob job. Let me know what you think about that. But I want them small. Like I want them really small. Anyway, I'm going to leave on that note. But thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go home and chill out. But I love you and I'll speak to you next week. Who's looking at me? Bye.